Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video, I'm going to help you with a very critical decision to make. That is, which game engine to select to create your video game. Now, selecting a game engine can be a very difficult task, especially if you are a starter or a beginner in game development. So we will be covering this video in two parts. One is if you have no idea how to create any kind of video game, that's one part. And second is if you already have created a few games and you still are confused on which game engine to select for your game, in that case, how do you make that decision? Now, uh, for me personally, I've been in this industry for the last 11 years uh, now, and uh, that's the reason why I think I am somewhat qualified uh, uh, in order to help you out with this uh, question. And with that in mind, let's get started with the video. Uh, so let's assume that you have no idea and you're a complete fresher in game development industry. How do you make that decision then? Well, the answer is simple. The entire game engine uh, C is at your uh, disposal. Uh, there are a lot of game engines. Um, there is Unity Game Engine, there is Unreal Engine, there is uh, Phaser, there is Construct3, there is Godot, there is GDevelop and a plethora of other game engines out there. But for me personally, I would say I would recommend as a game developer, as a fresher or a beginner in this industry, you should definitely go ahead with Unity Game Engine. And uh, I have strong reasons to suggest Unity Game Engine primarily because Unity is an engine that has matured over the years by leaps and bounds it started off as a basic game engine to create some small time uh, you know games uh, but now it has matured to a level that you can create any kind of game experience not just game experience but you can also create architectural walkthroughs and high quality video games using unity game engine so if you are a complete fresher that is the game engine that i would recommend you to get started on your journey in game development now let's move on to the second part of the uh, question which is if you are already uh, in this industry and you have created a couple of games now you might have a fair bit of an idea on how to select a game engine but there might be still points of struggle for you so if you are an experienced game developer and you've created a couple of games in the past and you are still confused on which game engine to select then the simple answer is select the game engine that you are comfortable working with if you find a fancy game engine that has other uh, n number of other features that can be potentially useful for your game development pipeline but you have no idea how to uh, create a game in that game engine in that case you will first have to learn that engine you'll have to spend time in learning that engine in learning the workflow and that is going to consume a considerable amount of time for you as a developer and in a typical game development cycle you'd rather be better off focusing on your game rather than the tool that you're using to create that game right learning about a tool is not a big deal you can do that in parallel while you are creating your uh, existing game in uh, the game engine that you already know but if you are to start off uh, working on a game engine which you don't know in that case you have to go through a steep learning curve in picking up that game engine's workflow and in most of the cases, this causes lots of delays in a product pipeline, which, uh, you know, let's say, for example, if a game could have been made in three months in an engine that you do know, that same product might take six months, seven months, nine months, who knows how much time. Uh, now, let's move on to a slightly different part of the question is that, okay, I mean, uh, now that we are aware that these are the decisions to uh, make uh, while selecting a game engine, let's move on to a second part now. How does one decide which game engine to select for a particular game? Now the way that I answer this to myself is that I find that certain game engines have their own strengths and weaknesses and it largely actually depends on the type of games that you want to create. Uh, now for me, if I were to give you some personal suggestions, I would say that if you are creating like a 2D or a casual game, uh, in that case Unity Game Engine or your Godot or your GDevelop, these are engines are pretty lightweight and uh, they can be useful to create your video games if you are creating a web-based game in that case i would recommend construct 3 or phaser construct 3 is actually also a visual programming solution when you can actually use blocks to create your own game uh, phaser is a bit technical you will need to know a bit of programming to use phaser uh, but i think both of these solutions are pretty lightweight uh, you can also create web-based games in unity game engine but uh, unity game engine supports export of webgl and webgl most of the times it's not supported on a couple of browsers so you might face some issues in that 
if you want to create like a casual game, as I said earlier, casual 2D or even a 3D game, uh, which is geared towards uh, mobile platforms or low end devices, in that case, I think Unity is your best friend. Uh, Unity game engine is very well equipped to handle multiple platforms. You can, you literally have a switch option to switch platforms between uh, what sort of platform you want to launch your game on. Is, is it a mobile game, is it a PC game, is it a console game, etc, etc. Right. So Unity is a very good choice, very safe choice to create games for any platform and games of any scale. Uh, right from your simple casual mobile game to your web based games, right all the way to your AAA titles or a very high quality game, Unity is 100% well equipped to create games of any type. Okay. Now let's move ahead, let's uh, complicate things a bit. Let's assume that you want to create a high quality game. Let's say you want to aim for a triple A quality, right? In that case, Unreal Engine is a very good choice. Unreal Engine offers you uh, that base level of quality that is required to uh, make your game look gorgeous. But a game that looks gorgeous does not necessarily mean that it will play gorgeously, right? So you still have to make some optimizations and if you don't know that engine, then these type of optimizations are very hard to do, right? So that is the reason why I always choose an engine that you are comfortable with. It is also possible to achieve that same level of quality with Unity. You just need to know the engine properly. Unity in today's data and time, it has a good render pipelines, different different render pipelines that you can use to achieve that level of graphical fidelity that is required to create a very high quality video game. However, if you are comfortable with Unreal Engine and you know C++, uh, then I would say that Unreal Engine is a good choice. You'd rather spend 90% uh, of your time uh, figuring out how to make your game better instead of finding where this option is in that uh, engine and you know looking up forums or going up and reading up on documentation. If you know an engine beforehand, that is the engine that you need to select. Another very important uh, part of this uh, question is that uh, when you are selecting an engine or let's say for example if you've selected an engine, now stick to the version of the engine that you've created, uh, selected and this is also very important even small incremental versions of that engine can make or break your game. Uh, say for example you started off making your game in Unreal Engine 5.1, um, just an example and uh, tomorrow Unreal Engine comes up with an update uh, of Unreal Engine 5.2. Do not switch to Unreal Engine 5.2 because that is going to add up to your development timelines and it will extend your development uh, time. So that is the reason why no matter how lucrative the features look in the new engine, no matter how fancy features there are included in the new engine, no matter how much you think that those features will cut down your development time, do not switch. Uh, prefer working on a long-term uh, support version. Uh, in Unity, there are al uh, always these LTS versions. So look for uh, an engine version that has LTS, which is long-term support. These are the engine versions that get long-term support, as the name suggests, from the developers of that engine. And thereby, if you encounter any bugs in that particular version, you can contact the developers and they will uh, developers of that engine, and they will help you figure out a solution for the problems that you're facing. Okay, so these are some of the tips and tricks for you to select the right engine. I hope this video was useful for you. I hope the information was useful for you. And if you liked this information, hit the like button. If you're finding me for the first time, uh, hit the subscribe button. I uh, am going to keep on making videos around game development on, and all these basic questions around game dev. So uh, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.